I'm Melissa Chartrand. I'm over at 46 Pearl on the High Arts campus right here in downtown Hyannis, and I'm here at Sarah Hall's Art Space. Hi, Sarah. Hi. It's nice to be here. We love coming to your place. I love, I'm always, I just walk in and I never want to leave. It's <laughs> I want to talk to you. You've been a resident artist in residence on our high arts campus for many years mm -hmm. now. We're thrilled to have you. You definitely are a powerful force here. Um, really have energized and enlivened the campus. And I want to talk to you a little bit about your background and your work and the process and, and maybe how it's evolved over the years and, and how you feel about being here in this space. Yeah. Uh, well, it certainly has evolved. And I think this space has a lot to do with my new work because when I first moved in here I was renovating and we were painting the walls and I chose all these bright colors and then when it was done I had a lot of cans of paint left over so I started painting with actual house paint instead of oils and squeezing out all the little tubes and stuff so I started getting into that and then I would take a spoon put my canvases on the floor or my panels on the floor I should say and I would drizzle a line over the the paintings. I and think that's so, a signature piece of yeah, that. Yes, so that's sort of something that sort of people can recognize when they see that sort of crazy, sort of uncontrolled line running through all my pieces. Um, that sort of makes it so that they know it's, it's me. Even my signature is kind of um, unrecognizable, <laughs> but recognizable at the same time. So yeah, so I was doing a lot of paper collage on paper, and I was looking for a way to seal it, and that's when I found this, this resin, which is... Um, it's a polyester resin, a two-part, and what I do is I take it and I lay the pieces flat again and I pour the resin over it and cure it with a blowtorch. So it gets um, very shiny, very permanent. Right, it's quite a process. And then you've even started layering where you'll do some pour mm -hmm. and then yep. re paint correct yes. so this is this is uh, one of an example of that where yeah. I did the painting and then I wasn't quite satisfied with it or I wanted a little bit more depth so I would go over it again and in this case I took a, a line and then I blew some sparkly dust across it so <laughs> I could get the sparkle and then I'll pour it again with the resin so I've been doing that a lot and a lot of the pieces now can go outside so I'm doing pieces to go out on the outside of buildings because they can withstand the everything. And I love the colors. I love the the use of colors and very, you know, a, a, and certainly different subject matters, everything mm -hmm. from horses to flowers to beaches to you do figures as well. Mm -hmm. I know for many years you taught figure drawing right. and that's evolved where yes. um, you have moved from that. Yeah, you know, it's kind of nice. I'm taking a little bit of a break from teaching. I am doing a lot of private lessons, however, but it's nice to have the model to myself and just sort of explore that because I wasn't getting enough time to really work on my own work. So um, now I'm getting, you know, I'm really indulging myself in, in everything that I want to paint. So it's it's pretty great. Now, yeah. art has been a part of your life from from pretty much birth. I, you, I love the story you tell about three when you were about three years old with uh, your grandparents. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, as a little girl, you know, my, I started studying with my grandfather when I was very young, but I just remember doing finger paintings as a little girl, and my grandparents would critique my work, and, <laughs> you know, just, it was just, it was always, it was an ongoing, uh, workshop or studies right. with, with my my whole family actually. with your whole yeah. family and let's mm -hmm. let's share with our viewers the history of your family who your grandfather was oh, your okay. grandmother your father yeah <laughs> um, I come from I'm a third generation artist figure drawing instructor um, my grandfather was a sculptor and a stone carver and he was from Switzerland and he um, worked with Giacometti and Emile Bordel and my grandmother was also a sculptress and a model and um, they studied in Paris. She was from Texas, and they met in Europe uh, through the arts. And um, then my father was also a sculptor at Black Mountain College, and he was interested in my grandfather's work, and that's how he met my mother. So uh, my father was from the Bronx in New York. So, And um, then he became a sculptor and a potter, and then my three sisters and I all worked under him. So. That's right, and and so do you. I know that you still continue to work in clay and do the reliefs, and but do you have a preference, Sarah, or do you take some of the elements from what yeah. you learned there, you know, incorporate it into this work? Yes, I do. I, I think that the the um, the resin and the new process that I'm using now is makes the pieces very permanent. Um, they're UV protective. They're they're protected against the weather, similar to my clay work, and this resin is similar to a glaze. So um, for me, it's sort of come full circle. So I, 
I'm, I'm all, I almost feel like I'm back in the clay again with, all, with the process, and I do take a blowtorch to these, so there's danger involved and fire, <laughs> which is you know, <laughs> something we all enjoy in my family. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that's, yeah, it's, it, but you know, I do miss the clay since I haven't been working in clay for about a year now, I guess. So I do miss that, and I hope to, uh, you know, start that back up at some point. And maybe we'll see that, maybe we'll see a mashup between the you two. You know, it's interesting that you should say that because the, I'm doing a totem pole project right now, and I disregarded, I had several sections, and I disregarded them, and now I think I'm going to combine those with clay and use those as almost like vessels with little feet and stuff that I'm going to make out of clay and put them all together. So we'll see. All right. So. I look forward to that. And before we go, Sarah, tell me a little bit about why you like being here in Hyannis. This, of course, is a designated cultural district, and there really is a growing art scene here. What, what have you gained from that? Oh, my God. It's been amazing. People come down. You know, I, I try and be open as much as I can. So if you come by and you see the flag out, you're welcome to come in, see the work in progress. And I like being in downtown Hyannis. There's other ar artists on the compound, and we all sort of share ideas and work together. There's art show openings. I mean, it's just great, and I love interacting with the community. Also, the, the kids from Sturgis are always popping in and out, and they come over and they help me work. I take in interns, and I make them clean up and wash the brushes and uh, return for lessons. So we have a good time. Excellent. Right. Well, Sarah, thank you. So I wish we had more time to talk. We will come back again, I promise. Um, but thank you so much. And for our viewers, Sarah's here at 46 Pearl Street, Hyannis, right on the High Arts campus with Gallery Art Trio and the Guyer Barn. And you have a website, Sarah. What's that yes, website? Yes, I do. It's Sarah Hall. Uh, dot com. Sarah Hall dot com. For Sarah Hall, I'm Melissa Chartrand wishing you an artful day.